Forgive the fact that I don't have proper lighting out here um, in order to for you to see me. Uh, I'm not that nice looking anyways, and so maybe I'll that's an act of mercy by God or something. <laughs> but uh, a user by the name of uh, Johnny Anderson. I remarked uh, to one of my responses, my comment responses to um, someone saying that um, Islam is not the antichrist religion that most Christians think it is. Um, I think it's the opposite. I think most Christians don't have a clue about it. Um, uh, the Quran is, I mean, the only, the only place the words Antichrist appear is, I think, in the Epistle of John. And I think Paul mentions it once. Um, but uh, who is an Antichrist? Those who deny the the Christ came in the flesh. Was that speaking about deity or, uh, you, you know, the Christ came in the flesh? This is against docetism. The Quran fights docetism. Uh, it affirms that Christ is the incarnate Logos. Um, it actually mentions um, Logos, spirit, as being from God and pre existent. Um, The problem with people like Yusuf Estes and Joshua Evans and Ahmed Didat. Ahmed Didat was like the first one. He was. He was. He's, he reminds me of uh, a carnival guy or a showman. Um, I had stopped talking about Islam for a long while. I write about it quite a bit um, historically. I don't follow the. Pamela Gellers and the liars like Walid Shobat um, and Ergun Kanner, two horrid liars. Um, but to Johnny Anderson and to anybody else out there, the Quran, um, I mean, you can look at my video, Honest Questions to Muslims, and I actually, there are honest questions, they're not like, you know, bickering people like in the comments well why is this then prove this to me or it, it, it just why why is this verse here or why do we see so much of this here or why you know why is Moses so much talked about you have the Quran and it's reading the Quran to understand Islam is like reading the Psalms to understand Roman Catholicism it really is um That's, I mean, it was, it was Sahih, Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Sunnah Abu Dawood, the Sirat Rasulullah, um, by, it's uh, not actually by Ibn Ishaq, it's, it's the recension by Ibn Hashim, um, and then people like al tabari and, and Ibn Kathir, who, no, no Sunni will go against them, in fact, um, they must be used. Ibn Kathir and Al-Tabari must be consulted when translating or interpreting the Quran into another language. Um, what upset me was the fact that the Sunnah, things like the Hadith, like uh, the Hadith, the, the Tafsir, the Sira literature, uh, Muhammad comes across as a pornographic, child molesting, rapist, psychopath, psychotic serial killer that loved to raid and went out on raiding parties and, and raped women while the blood of their family members was still warm. And he took nine wives, and, or some cases, some other accounts say 13 and peppered all throughout just the first four volumes of Sahih al-Bukhari is all this 
is garbage and a lot of it's contradictory to itself. I mean, it's clearly written by people. And Sayo Bukhari uh, came, it was collected 300 years after the beginning of the Islamic era. Um, the Quran says that a man can only have up to four wives. And the Quran says that Muhammad is just a man like any other man. There's no possibility that Muhammad could have had more than four wives. It's no, he didn't. In fact, there's no record of him having a wife after Khadija. Not in actual, datable historical sources. Um, writings, the first biography, the fact that it comes from 200 years after uh, the supposed year that Muhammad died. I think that he died two years later than what canonical Islam says. Um, the fact that uh, Bukhari, in the most reliable hadith, most reliable collection of ahadith, is 300 years later. And they say, oh, it's, a, it's they have isna chains. Well, all you need to do to have an authentic hadith is create your own and take an isna chain that people consider is reliable and put it in front of it. And I think most of those hadith, uh, the, these pornographic and sick and violent stories about Muhammad, apparently, they came from the later sultans and emirs to justify their own lusts and, and own violent hearts. Sunnism, I mean, talking about my family, you're talking about the people I, every, almost everyone I knew when I was growing up, you know, when I go to the masjid. But, um, it's, 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 there's nothing godly about what's in the sunnah. It, it's pornographic. And it is, it contradicts the Quran continually. I mean, it, it, I think that the sunnah was actually written by, um, Jews who hated the fact that they were conquered, um, or possibly Zoroastrians, but it looks more Jewish because of the, the commentary, that it's very Talmudic, you know? The Quran says it's plain and clear, and it's the final revelation. Okay. Then they come along with all this extra stuff. Um, the Ibadis are the closest... Actually, the Quranists, I think Quranists are correct, except in one regard, is that the Quran continually says that the the Torah, the Injil, were never corrupted, can't ever be corrupted, but that the the rabbis and the Christians corrupt them, corrupt the message of them with their tongues and their commentaries, but as the book the Al Katab, the thing, the actual Bible, no. Which we have fact. I mean, it's just look at the oldest manuscripts. They're no different than the ones today. I mean, Akhmadidat, Why did Christ? Why did? Why was the New Testament written in Greek? Because it was the lingua franca. I mean, that's just that appeals to the lowest and the most ignorant. Just like. Uh, What's his name? That dude, uh, Joshua, not Joshua Evans, the fatter, stupider Joshua Evans, um, Yusuf Estes. His arguments, you could just pick them apart if you know anything about history or actually have studied things like, you know, the rise of Christianity, the rise of Islam. Um, if you actually practice the religion for, you know, a few decades, if you've actually, you know, if it was actually such a core part of your being that you, you know, it, you had to do hard soul searching. Am I going to leave this? Can I stay in this? So you read more. You get the earliest material. And you start to find things that scare you. So, yeah. 
Akhmedida, I'll start making videos and I'll I'll back them up with facts where Ahmed Didat is actually in direct contradiction not only to the Quran but even to the Sunnah material itself and I mean even to Orthodox Islam um, he's he's just Zakhar Nayak is the same way it's just a just a showman with no real substance they will not debate an actual I mean, I don't know. It's it's a shame that uh, the Muslim community here in America has has things like the Dean Show. It's it's pitiful.